It was good dog, today we're coming back at you with a part 2 of my Jeffrey Marsh video. Now this time I have good reason because it only gets worse from here my boy. The main thing I want to get into and then after that I'm going to talk about other TikToks that he has is to further influence kids to block all contact from their parents. And all the TikToks of him talking about all that went semi-viral so I started seeing them all over Twitter. And for good reason. Because not only is he influencing kids to become LGBT if they think it's the right thing to do, but now he's trying to influence them to pretty much ruin their life even further. And the Hispanics have said it all before, there is nothing more importante than familia. So why would you want to block all contact from your family when they don't agree with your lifestyle? Now of course there's a situation of the parents disowning the child and so they're the ones that don't want to talk to them. But for the common scenario of the kids feeling frustrated about their parents not agreeing with their lifestyle, there's a little something called boundaries. You need to set boundaries with the people in your life to make sure that you and everyone else around you are not uncomfortable when you're around each other. And especially with parents, the boundary thing is a completely different scenario because so what if your parents are dead naming you, which is pretty much referring to you as your biological gender or original name that you were born with, instead of your preferred gender or preferred name. And so what if they don't encourage this lifestyle that you've picked up from the internet? They're your parents and usually they know what's best. But if you want to continue this lifestyle and say that it's just right for you, then sure, go keep doing that if you want. But in my opinion, losing all contact with your relatives is a major overreaction. Usually I'd let a clip like this play out in full, but it's like super long and it's just him rambling and a lot of pausing. So, you know, I'm just going to explain it to you right here now. He pretty much explains that there's three stages of going completely no contact with your parents, which I think is kind of strange, like why would you label it in stages? So the first stage is you starting to set a little bit of boundaries with your parents or whatever. You know, the tension between you and your parents are starting to grow and so you try to make it a little bit more livable in the household or when you're just visiting each other. But then as you start to transition into the second stage, you start to notice all the signs of a toxic family relationship. And so you're like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't talk to them at all. So then you leave them and you feel really, really guilty about it. And you're like, man, am I really making the right decision? So then on to stage three, where you become super happy and you get all this peace and stuff. Like you really just got away from a very toxic household. You see, the best way of dealing with your problems is taking it head on because that's how life goes. You're not always going to be able to convince people to think like you and accept you for you. And more often than not, you're especially not going to convince your parents. What you should at least try to work towards is try to create a boundary, like I said earlier, and try to have your parents know that you're not going to change no matter what they tell you. Have them slowly learn to cope about you being an LGBT and ruining your life because they do not, they do not see your dream, you know? And so that eventually they kind of just live with it and then you live with them living with it. And it becomes a lot more healthy because you guys just don't hate each other anymore. You just have a mutual agreement that, you know, we have different views and so let's just not worry about it. You know what, I'm getting a little bit heated so let's have a breathing session with Mr. Jeffrey March here. I, I mean MX Jeffrey March. Mix, M you know what, I was just- You never breathe. Why? Why do you never breathe? Because I can't breathe. Uh, let's go in through the nose. Exhale. It was always capitalism, it was never you. What? In through the nose. I coach a lot of people one-on-one -on -one, who want to go no contact with their parents. They feel guilty, they feel awful, they know it's the right thing they want to do, and they can't admit it. I don't know if I want to go no contact or not. I I've just heard about this. What would it look like? What are, the what are the ins and outs? What would happen? If you're in the second category, don't do anything yet. Give yourself space. Now I would usually say that he did a total 180 and switched the narrative from you should definitely disconnect all contact with your parents to you should only disconnect contact with your parents if you feel like it's the right thing to do. But in this case, it's kind of a, uh, a 90, you know, half of a 180. But my philosophy for today is that you never disconnect all contact with your parents, unless if they're like abusive or whatever, and you, you know, even if you stay, keep talking to them, then they're gonna like beat you and yeah. But in this case, all these LGBTs, they're like, oh my gosh, my parents don't love me. They don't accept me for who I am. Oh, they're bigots. I need to get out of here. No, that is not the answer. You need to have a mutual agreement that you both have different views and, you know, leave it at that. Live the rest of your life. Be what you want. But nothing is more importante than familia. Let them lose you. They have had enough chances to have a beautiful, brilliant, sparkling, giving 
person like you in their lives. Let them lose you. It's very vague in this TikTok in particular, but you know exactly what he's talking about. Your parents don't deserve to keep raising you and keep you in their lives because you're too special for them to be in yours. A burglar stole all of my lamps. I should be upset, but I'm delighted. So you were told repeatedly, over years, that you're trash, that you're worthless. We were all taught to hate ourselves. We all have that voice that says, that was stupid inside our head. And you shouldn't have to also carry around a voice telling you, you should have self-cared better. There is no reason to treat yourself this harshly. It's pretty dangerous to assume that you're a burden. But it's time for something new. It's time to think about yourself in a different way. And I know that you can do it. But you must realize that you do not deserve this kind of internal punishment. Who you are is not a problem to be solved. Who you are is a gift. Now it is true that children are gifts and everyone should just love each other and love themselves at the end of the day. But the philosophy that's being spread on Jeffrey Marsh's TikTok page is to pretty much feel insecure about who you really are. That's the whole basis of becoming trans, not accepting yourself or who you really are and become something that you're not. Now it's already a big enough problem with the fact that adults are transitioning into the opposite schmicks, but now they're trying to influence kids to do the exact same thing. And so that's where I have a problem with this. Jeffrey March is teaching these kids to never agree with their parents and never submit to their bigotry. You should always do what you feel like is right and just go with it. That's going to be you for the rest of your life. But the thing is, kids are not always right. And parents are always right, but still. I think the trans community as a whole has gone way downhill in the past few years. It's kind of weird to think that I was actually an advocate for these people. I had friends in middle school that were trans and I was like very happy to see that they were happy. But in reality, the trans community is really ruining our society. Because like I said earlier, the best way to deal with your problems is to face it head on. You need to beat yourself up sometimes so that you can grow and eventually become a better person. Every insecurity won't be solved just by hiding it up. And I can tell you from experience, so trust me on this one. There's a reason why kids can't vote, because their opinions do not matter, because usually their opinions are the most retarded out of anyone else in the premises. What they think is right is usually what's never right. So please take what your parents are saying at face value, reevaluate your decisions, and please do not block all contact from your parents because you have a petty disagreement. What do taxidermists do for work? Stuff. I guess that's all the philosophy I want to spread today. The plan for next week is to slander this person right here. They've had a few of their own viral TikToks that I've seen on Twitter, and so I think it's safe to say that they will be my next victim. Sub to the second channel, follow the Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, uh, TikTok, and join the Discord server. Follow all the social media. Bye-bye.